The coronavirus, officially known as COVID-19 as of February 11th this year, is a respiratory disease that was first detected in the city of Wuhan in the Hubei province in China. Let's take a look at what students and teachers at West know about this virus. So I heard about it on TikTok first. Just uh, news sources, the internet. I also heard a lot about it from uh, word of mouth. And also on WeChat, there's like the trending page where you can look at news from China and be able to learn what the theories from scientists are. It's a central province in China that it originated in, but they think Wuhan in a fish market, or at least a market with open, open air animals and stuff like that. Is that it's like us? I mean, virus that's going around mainly in China. There were uh, two suspected cases in Iowa City, but both uh, turned out negative, so it's fine. It's basically just like a common flu that this virus has the ability to be able to stay airborne and viable for a 24 hour period. Due to the coronavirus heart being located in China, it's paved a way for racism. We asked some students and faculty if they've seen or experienced racism because of the coronavirus. Like if I sneeze or cough, they're just like, oh my gosh, D has the corona, we better get out or something. The racism that I've seen has been attacking customs for food consumption. There's some standard for eating bad food. For example, my mom got the cold recently. Like, there was a debate meeting on Wednesday and she wasn't like, sure if she wanted to go because she, she was like still coughing then and she didn't want people to like, yeah, be like, scared of her. As Ashley mentioned, Asian Americans are becoming increasingly cautious when they go out to avoid people assuming that they have the coronavirus. Although COVID-19 is a serious topic, it's important that the virus doesn't discriminate and neither should we. Welcome to Kevin's Conspiracy Corner. Today we will be debunking conspiracy theories about the coronavirus. Conspiracy number one. The coronavirus is actually a bioweapon that somehow escaped from a lab at the Wuhan Institute of Virology as part of China's biological warfare program. Well, according to Richard E. Bright, a professor of chemical biology at Rutgers University revealed that there is, quote, absolutely nothing in the genome sequence of this virus that indicates the virus was engineered. Conspiracy number two. The Miracle Mineral Solution, MMS for short, is a dangerous bleach solution that on online bootleggers are claiming can cure or protect against malaria, the flu, cancer, autism, and now, the Wuhan coronavirus. There is no research that MMS is an effective treatment, prevention, or cure for corona or any other illness, according to the FDA. Thanks for tuning in to Kevy's Conspiracy Corner. Keep watching to learn new facts and opinions about the future of the coronavirus. With the rising number of cases and the rising death toll, many people may be concerned about how far and how serious the coronavirus will get. We received a variety of answers from students at West. I don't think it's going to go away, but it's probably just going to be like less talked about in the media or like less like feared. Hopefully like we're more advanced now, so not that many people will be hurt by this and we can find a cure soon. It's going to make a real long impact on China this year. I think China will still be dealing, dealing with it a year from now. And I, I feel like that the virus outbreak will slow down or altogether disappear. Drug makers and researchers are already racing to find and produce new drugs that could at least curb the spread of the virus. The development of new medicine and vaccines take time, so many companies are already testing with existing treatments. According to Richard Hatchett, Chief Executive Director of the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations, it will take at least a year to produce a vaccine for the virus. According to Capital Economics, COVID-19 will cost the world economy over $280 billion in the first quarter of the year. With varying levels of knowledge, unreliable sources, wavering economics, and some racist sentiments against Asians, the future of COVID-19 is uncertain. Keep following the news for daily updates about this virus.